All right, everybody, we're back with one final addendum video here for the Marshall Putnam 4-H STEM kite series. Um, this video is geared towards people who may not have access to one of the kits we made up for the after-school program, uh, may not have access to some of the materials from those kits independently. So we went through, we found some alternatives for you. Uh, we'll talk about them here quick for a few minutes. The first one we want to talk about is the straws. Uh, if you're using one of the kits, you're going to get these non-flexible black plastic drinking straws. We've discovered these are very hard to find locally in a lot of cases. Uh, for whatever reason, it's a lot easier to find the flexible straws. We're all familiar with those. The problem with these is as you tighten up the strings and tie your knots, the flexible part of the flexible straw will flex. That's what it's made to do. They are the same length as the black straws were used in the kits. Real simple solution to take a flexible straw, make it non-flexible. Get some decent packing tape. A little piece about three inches long. Center it over that flexi joint in the straw. And very carefully roll it around. It's not going to be as pretty. It's not going to look as nice. But once you get that tape wrapped around two or three times, you just took a flexible straw and took the flex out of it. That flex joint's no longer going to move when you tie your strings. So that's an alternative for that. Um, flexi straws you can find just about anywhere, dollar stores, grocery stores, anything like that. No problem there. That solves that issue. Uh, the other One of the other questions we had was about string. Um, the string I'm using is a three-strand butcher string, I believe it's called. It's just a cotton twisted string. Uh, any type of cotton string will work great. Some synthetic strings, nylon, polyester will work. Um, the important thing is keep them small, about one, one and a half millimeters diameter. Uh, you don't want to go much bigger than that because it just adds extra weight. You don't gain any strength that's needed that much bigger. But any string will work. Um, just keep the size in mind. Like I said, I prefer cotton string because it ties up and the knots tend to stay tighter for me. Uh, another question we had was about the flagging tape for the tail on our kites. This is just cheap flagging tape. Um, you know, you can get several hundred yards of it for a few bucks at a hardware store, um, outdoor store, farm store, anything like that. If you don't have access to that, something you might have at home is crepe paper, crepe paper streamers. The downside of these is they are not going to be waterproof like the plastic flagging tape. But as long as you're not flying your kite in the rain, this will work for a tail. Uh, the other option is a lot of times at a dollar store, party store, or something like that, you can find streamer that's made out of like a mylar or a light plastic. That'll also work great. You won't be able to tie the crepe paper around your kite like you will with the flagging tape, but you can simply attach it with a piece of scotch tape. And the final material we want to talk about today is the tissue paper. Um, tissue paper should be pretty readily available. If it's something you can't hunt down, can't track down enough, uh, you don't have any laying around you know, gift wrapping supplies or anything, cheap plastic trash bags. The only difference is you won't be able to use the glue stick to attach them. You'll have to use some little pieces of scotch tape, clear tape. Make sure you attach it with that. The glue stick probably won't hold on that slick plastic bag. You'll still cut the same pattern out the same way. You want to make sure it's doubled over on that fold and that should take care of it. So if you're looking to build one of these without the kit, if you're looking to add on to the one you built with the kit and add more cells to your kite, make it a 10 cell, make it a you know, four times four cell, something like that. That gives you some alternatives for materials that you should be able to find locally. Thanks guys and have fun.